The second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse number 4. Can you read for me? Verse 4. One, two, go. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ you shine under them. So, the God of this world. I thought Jesus had died and had been buried and had been raised from the dead and ascended to heaven. How come? How come? Paul calls Satan again the God of his word. No, he's the God of this age. The word is aeon. He's the God of this age. But we don't belong in his age. The God of this system. We don't belong in his system. He's lost control over the cosmos. He can only control the cosmos around those who believe not. That's why he has to blind them. So they cannot see the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Did you see it? The light of the glorious gospel. Glorious gospel. Mine oh mine. I know there are, you know, there are a lot of God's people who think that in church, I mean like you, you're listening now. If you're a first timer, I don't know, you may not be used to this kind of thing. How can the preacher be preaching and he just leave the pulpit? <laughs> you know, they think he, he ought to stand there. Uh, and some others will wonder, how can they in a church? You know, because they're used to, the preacher preaches and everybody goes, Oh, forgive us. Oh. <laughs> Oh. How can you be happy around God? They think something's wrong. Something's wrong. Oh, what is wrong? You are wrong. <laughs> what do you think God is like? Let me show you something. You want to see it? Yeah. All right. Second Corinthians. No, before I go to Second Corinthians. Mm, okay, Second Corinthians. That's, let, let's start from there. 2 Corinthians in chapter number 5. You there? Okay. Okay. Read from verse 19. Can you seen it? One, two, go. Ah. Hallelujah. He says, he says, to wait. To bear witness. He wants it declared that God was in Christ. He wants the world to know. He wants everybody to know God was in Christ. Reconciling the world to himself. Reconciling the world of sinners. People. Reconciling the world to himself. Not counting their sins against them. Uh, that's too big to swallow. God reconciling the world to himself not counting their sins against them he's not counting their sins against them the soul that sin at it shall die That's why Jesus came. So that this time you can listen that He is not mad at you because of your sin. God is not angry with you because of your sin. No matter how bad it is, He's saying, Come, I'm not angry with you. Somebody paid for you. So don't die without God. Don't, don't keep living your life in sin. Why? Someone paid the penalty for your sin. 